Okay, so let's go back to create a product and this time I want to do something extra. I want to upload an image for a product. So this video was very much requested and of course I could not skip this one. Now, to do image upload we can use vanilla JavaScript, which is plain JavaScript, and Laravel. Which means that some basic knowledge on JavaScript is required. So the idea is this. I will create a file input without any validation for now. So let me copy this form group and paste it. So I will delete the div regarding the errors and any kind of validation. All right, so this now will be a type file and there's no actually need for a name because we do not have any kind of uh, validation. And also, we want to execute a method whenever, whenever we upload a new image. So at change, we want to call a method that we are going to, to call image changed. Okay, now in this method, I want to read the image and save the result to this image property that we are going to use right now. So I'm going to call this image. For now, it will be empty. And uh, what we want to do, of course, is to create the method. So the method is called image upload changed. Sorry. All right. So we need a file reader. So I will create a var file reader equals to new file reader. So this is one. So now I will read the file as a URL. So file reader dot read as data URL and we want to access the file. And of course we need the event to do this. So pass the event. And before I continue, uh, let's console the target. So console.log e.target. So if I go back to this now and I reload, we should have the let me see what I have here. So unexpected token, expected comma. Yeah, we need a comma here. Okay, back to this. Okay, now it works. So if I upload a new image, uh, you can see that the moment I upload the image, we log the file input, which is good. Now, if I log the first file in the files array, I go back to this. Let me clear the console, choose file you should see the file that we just uploaded, which is exactly what we want. Now I want to call the file reader again and unload, and unload is a property of the file reader, which contains an event handler and when the content is available, we want to save it to our image property that we have right here inside the product object. So file reader on load equals two, and we can use arrow functions for this. So we can go down here, this dot product dot image. So we are accessing this one, and this will be equal to e dot target dot result. And by the way, make sure you have the on load all lowercase letters, otherwise it will not work. So we are going to save the image, which is now represented in base 64, and I will log the product so we can see the result. So right here, I will say console.log this.product, and you will see that inside image, we have the base 64 representation. So if I go back to the browser and I upload a new file, you can see right here, the image has a base 64 uh, representation which we can use in order to create the file in the server. So that is all we need to do in terms of JavaScript because remember if you remember actually we are passing the whole product to the server which means that this dot product also includes the image that we just uploaded because we instantiate it right here. So now we have to go to the Laravel project and let me bring this to the left side. Okay, so open the controller for the products and inside the store method, we need to do some kind of new stuff here. 
So first of all, we have to get everything except the image. So instead of saying request all, we have to say request accept and we avoid the image because remember that the request also now includes the image. And the reason we take everything except the image is because we want to store the image in our public folder and to do that we have to do some decoding first. Now before we do that, let's verify that we do not have any error. So I will log the request all and see if everything works. So log info request all. Okay, I will open the Laravel log, clear this out and let's try this. So if I go to the browser, I reload, choose file, name, price, description, create. So it is created and if I go here now, you can see that we get the, uh, the image, which is good. Now the reason why I get this twice, mm, I'm not sure about this. So let me try this once again. So if I go back to this, create, choose file, okay, name, price, description. Let's see, mm, it is logged twice. Uh, the reason why we log this twice, it should be somewhere here, let me see. Okay, so the problem is not in the Laravel application, but inside the Vue.js application. So you can see that at click we call the create method, but also on submit, again, we call the create method. So it is called twice. So we, of course, have to remove it from the button, from the submit button. And now if I go back to this and we clear this once again. Okay, let me try this once again. Choose file, this one price, description, okay, hopefully we get it, yes, only once. So as you can see now, we also get the image, which is a, a base64 image. You can also see the type here, which is uh, the PNG extension, okay. All we have to do now is to decode this base64 representation string. So I want this part, so after the comma, after this comma, everything after this comma, I want it to be part of the decoding. So everything before the comma, it is not necessary. And all we have to do now is to use explode. So in the controller, we can get rid of this. Exp exploded equals to explode. The delimiter is the comma. And of course, we pass the request image. Okay. And to decode this, so decoded, we can just use the base64 decode function. And we pass the exploded. And of course, we want everything after the comma. So the string after the comma, so this part is inside the index one. And we also need the extension of the of the, of the image. So in our case here, it is a PNG. So I want this part as well. And we can keep this simple. Uh, I know that index zero has this part of the string, this one, starting from here. So I will just check if the image is a JPG or PNG. And this is only what I allow uh, in this example. So let's go back to this now. If str contains exploded we pass the string and we want to check for jpg so if it is that one then the extension is jpg else it is png okay Let's also create the file name for this, uh, for this image. So file name equals to, we can use the str random function, which will regenerate uh, a random file name. And we need a dot and then the extension. So dot extension, oops, okay. So this is the file name, which also includes the extension at the end with a dot, so do not forget the dot. Let's also create the path. So the path is equal to 
public path dot and the file name like that and now all we have to do is to just save the decoded image to the path so we can call file put contents and we can pass the path and the decoded image all right so let's give this a try if i go to create and i go to choose file this one name price description so you can see that there is no image inside the public folder however hopefully if i click create we should have one but it is inside my uh, inside my project so not exactly i, I mean it is saved but uh, the path is not correct so let me fix this so yeah okay <laughs> uh, this is not dot this is a slash okay back to this once again create we choose the file okay 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 and hopefully yes now it is inside the public folder and you can see the image right here it is uploaded and created which is pretty cool okay so now the next step is to store the path to the product so let's modify the products table to include a new column so i want this down there so any column that we are going to call image for example okay so now let's refresh the database so php artisan migrate refresh seed uh, doesn't have a default value okay we can keep this nullable and let's try this again okay so now everything is empty which means that we have to run again uh, php artisan passport install to create uh, the client secret for the password grant client and of course we have to go back to vue.js and to the login component to update the client secret to the new one okay uh, of course we are now not authenticated which means that we have to go to application and delete the the token which should be inside local storage but doesn't really open which is weird uh, what can be the problem here mm, okay let me close this browser and open it again not really sure what happened there but hopefully we can fix this let me try this again okay now it works no idea why it wouldn't show up anyway so if i go now i log in uh, let me take one of the users so php my admin view laravel users and we take this one okay the password is secret like always okay so if i go now to create and uh, what is the next step okay so now the next step which is also the last step in uh, in this uh, video is to save the file name of the image to the product which means that we have to get this path this file name to this column inside this column so let's do this uh, if i go to the controller we want uh let me bring this down okay so we also want to include the image and we pass the file name all right so hopefully now this works so let me delete that image and i go back to the browser and let's try this again price okay create so it is created which is good and if I go to the Laravel project, we have the image and you can see it right here. And also if I go to the table, we should have a product with, hopefully, <laughs> let's try this. Uh, no, this is null. And I know why this is null because we have to include this inside the fillable array. So image, okay. Let me try this again, hopefully the last time so if i choose the file i 
click create and I go to the table again now this works which means that we can do the next uh, step for the Vue.js application which is the last one uh, so if I go to product component uh, I want to now change the SRC to the real path that we have for the image because up to now we have this guy with the glasses and the green background uh, so yeah so let's change to this so the idea is to uh, bind the SRC and we want to have the single quotes so HTTP slash slash localhost 8000 which is my server uh, slash again and then plus product dot image so we include the image path so now hopefully if we go back to this we now see this image which we actually uploaded so if I go and I take another screenshot of my uh, of my desktop and I go to create let's choose this one this time new one price 10 description no desk okay create and now you can see that yeah everything works <laughs> so the image upload works we can save we can we can uh, upload an image and pass it to Laravel Laravel will save it to the public folder and then we can use that path to display the image in our Vue.js application which is pretty cool so yeah there you are so to sum up we learned how to save an image using plain javascript and laravel without any extra library such as jquery for the client side code which of course is better because your Vue.js application doesn't require any additional library for this case which will decrease the total size of your application and this is what you want smaller size javascript applications that's all